So my name is Deepak. So now I live in a place where I stay for the little safe place, yeah. And so you you were telling me that uh, you were living in an older house yeah, here yeah, in yeah. Kathmandu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it was destroyed yeah, in the first this, earthquake. Yeah, first earthquake, you know, little broke, and second earthquake. Yeah, Tuesday, maybe Tuesday earthquake is really big. Yeah. Yeah. And it's my room is almost going down. Oh, you know? so you were still living in it after April 25th. Yeah. And then on May 12th at the second earthquake, that finished it. Yeah, finished this. And I have to run away from there to find the place where the soldier, they literally take care. Yeah. And the big ground there. So you're living in one of the uh, army camps? Yeah, right yeah, yeah, near the army camp. Yeah. And, and what do you do for a living, sir? So now I live in nothing to do, you know, no work, no job. Yeah, before I work with a guide, and now it's nothing to work. So you were you were a guide? Yeah, I'm a guide. Oh, and and where do you guide people? I do guide in Darwari Square in Kathmandu, you know, Darwari Square, where they live Kumari, and where the temple Hippie, you know, there's all the temple history place anyway. So uh, normally this time of year you would be busy with clients. Yeah, 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 busy before and now <laughs> busy. And now? Now no busy, no work, not, nothing to do, you know. I try to find work. Yeah. And I just walk, you know, I don't find, you know, one month, no job. And it's a little difficult for me to, you know, for living. Otherwise, you know, even the people are there rich, yeah. Million people also, they are now problem. Like me, no house, rain people, yeah. And now the rain house also people, they say, you know, now go out. And they lock, you know, I have something I, I cannot take, allowed. In inside my room. This is also happening. So I'm with uh, Deepak, who's a certified guide, registered guide here for Durbar Square. And we're looking at the Hanamandoka now. And you were telling me this normally is how many floors? It is nine floors. Nine floors. So we've seen at three of how many have collapsed? Yes, now it's, it's still we have six floors, so yeah. three floors is uh, falling down, yeah, the RP. So that time, you know, the nobody there. Otherwise, the, when somebody be inside, many people die, you know, because that time there's a repeating time. So soldiers, they're not uh, sent inside, only for they're sent in just the white building. Okay, so uh, so what you're saying is that the, how many people died in the in, first earthquake? Yeah, first earthquake in this uh, palace only died in three people. Three soldiers. Soldier, yeah, three soldiers died. And do you know how many, uh, if there were any fatalities in the Gari Batak? In inside? Yeah. Actually, inside there is a, you mean like uh, inside in the how many uh, room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The room is many, many because the main place we have so many people in inside. They're safe, you know. Literally, the soldier they protect the people. Just they stand in inside courtyard, you know. Oh, in the courtyard. Yeah, so, courtyard. so during the earthquake, people yeah. went went to the uh, courtyard, yeah, yeah, and they were safe there. Yeah, they are safe. Okay, so we're in front of the Tal okay. Taleju temple. Yeah, now. so this is a temple called Taleju, yeah, Taleju Bhavani. So Taleju means the goddess of Kali, the goddess of destruction, and Bhavani means like a goddess. So this is one of the temple, like our king of Malla. So that one of the king have a family goddess, this one. So that way every year, October, so our king, they have to respect of that goddess to offer a sacrifice animal, the 108 water buffalo. So why are we giving to 108? So 108 is like a lucky number of Hindu way and Buddhist way. And uh, why we sacrifice the buffalo? Actually, buffalo, we believe, is kind of demons. Demons, you know? So demons, that way, yeah. yeah. So that way we needed to sacrifice buffalo. So every year uh, around October, approximately, in, yeah. during Dusain or Dusai, yeah, that's right. they will sacrifice 108 Eight buffalo. buffalo at yeah. this temple. Yeah. And that particular festival, is to honor Kali, correct? Yeah, it's the festival of Kali, Durga, you know? Yes. Because Durga, Kali is the same goddess, different incarnation. Yes. Because she have a real name, is called Parvati. And she have a nine different incarnation. So during that festival, many goats are also sacrificed yes, here also in Durban Square. Yes, also goats, chicken, you know, because that festival also one of the festival of meat festival and tikka festival. So tikka, who put you tikka? Actually the family, the main boss is the father. The father, they respect of the child. Son, daughter, put you tikka, give you blaze to have a long life, good life. And they needed to offer good food 
so good food and the people they feel this is a meat you know yeah and just they buy even the people are rich they buy big goat to sacrifice even people are the poor just they buy to meat and they cook and they collect all the family enjoy happiness to eat you know now and and i understand vegetarians aren't excluded as well so if yeah, you're yeah. a vegetarian you crack a coconut is that correct or? yeah 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 the vegetarian people they just broke in the coconut yeah they cannot sacrifice you know so that's their sacrifice yeah 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 so and like you said, this temple is only uh, for uh, visitation once a year yeah, one day. for local people, yeah. for Hindu people. Uh, yeah, one day, Hindu, on one, one day. day. And it appears that there has been some damage, but many of the structures are still standing here. Yeah, yeah, it's still standing, this temple. I guess you don't mess with Kali. Yeah, we don't miss the Kali, you know. Because Kali is one of the big powerful goddess. Yeah. This is we believe in Hindu religion. So that way they still we have a Kumari there. Actually, you know, the, one of the things also the Kumari temple is not so high, you know. Yeah. This is one of the things also. And also people, they believe that, you know. She have, of course, some power. She have some healing power. So that, and, 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 and people can go visit her as well. Yeah, people also, they visit in every morning who have a problem with the baby child, yeah. yeah. All the time not happening, only doctor. Sometimes happening of God, happening of demons. So that time, just people, they visit inside, they give you place, give you tikka, really something good for the after few days, the child be start with smiling. So this is we believe. from Pashupatanath Temple Complex in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm here on Saturday, which is a holiday in Nepal, and many people come to the temple to worship on this day, and they get dressed up, and it's a very special day. And despite all of the heartache lately in Nepal, there is a very joyous feeling here, very spiritual feeling.
Hey, it's John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel, and I'm in the Hua Yin Shopping District here in Taipei, Taiwan. Hope you're enjoying the podcast. We'll get back to it in a sec. Uh, if you want to find out more about travel uh, in Nepal, by the way, uh, feel free to visit our website, Explore Himalayan. I'm going to leave a link in the show notes if you want to find out more about uh, travel to Kathmandu and trekking the Great Himalaya and safaris and everything else. Just follow that link. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, somebody who wrote a podcast review recently. Bella Sidney of the USA writes, the podcasts are intimate, detailed, vivid, packed with information and bring alive all your senses as if you were right there. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you're appreciating and enjoying the podcast. You know, writing a review really helps other people discover Far East Adventure Travel. So if you could take a few moments of your time, I would be so appreciative. I'm going to leave a link to the podcast page here and it's really simple to write a review all you do is go to the top of the far east adventure travel itunes page click ratings and review then rate the podcast out of five stars then just move a little bit lower there you go and click write a review and then write your review submit it to itunes and you will help other people discover far east adventure travel also, supporting the Creator Fund of Far East Adventure Travel with a donation is very helpful to uh, fund production costs and travel costs. I'm going to leave a link to my PayPal account. A donation of five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars is very, very helpful to uh, keep the podcast going. Anything over forty dollars right now, too, I will send you a nice little souvenir wherever you are in the world uh, from uh, Taiwan as my uh, thank you. So, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the podcast. Good. from Budanath, the Tibetan village in Kathmandu. I cannot come to the Kathmandu Valley without a visit to Budanath. It is the main community of the Tibetan uh, people here. Uh, many Tibetan refugees live here and of course it is uh, built around this beautiful stupa. It's one of the largest in the world and is definitely the largest in Nepal. And one of the things you have to do when you come here is do a kora or a few koras, which is a clockwise circumambulation of the temple for good karma. And one of the best times to do it is in the afternoon when all the uh, Tibetan Buddhists come out to do their afternoon prayers, rituals, and chanting. Now, I've had a look around. There is definitely some damage here from the earthquakes, but not so much. Uh, some of the stupa, the large stupa is cracked. There's a smaller one that is broken, uh, but the main village area looks like it's almost untouched. Um, they have been doing some renovation here to the uh, pathway around the, the stupa, but other than that, it's beautiful. So let's, let's go for a walk. Let's do a Kora together around Bodenath. <laughs> 